Hi there. Welcome back to our channel. Today we embark on a fascinating journey through the rich tapestry of Hindu traditions, customs, and beliefs. In this enlightening video, we'll tell you about 5 Hindu traditions and beliefs that are practiced. So let's start. Do you know why the coconut is offered to God in almost every Hindu temple? Coconut is considered the most sattvic and pure form of the fruit one can offer to the God. Hindus believe that the ego is an obstacle that keeps people from reaching moksha. The coconut represents head or human mind where ego resides. The coconut is broken symbolizing the breaking of the ego. Apart from that coconut tree is such that none of its part goes waste. Every part of this tree, trunk, leaves, coir, fruit is used to make things like medicines, soap, oil, fuel, mats and more. Also, despite growing on sailing land, coconut still provides sweet water, showing its selflessness. The three eye-like marks on the coconut represent the three-eyed Lord Shiva. The coconut is also considered to be the symbol of the Trinity, Lord Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva. While offering the coconut to the God, the eye side should face the God as this is the sensitive side that can receive the divine vibrations from the idol of the God. Ganesha is considered the Lord of the Earth, just as Vishnu is the Lord of Vakunta, Vishnu's home, and Shiva is the Lord of Mount Kailash. It is widely held that no human endeavor on Earth would be successful without the blessings of Lord Ganesha. As a result, he is worshipped before embarking on every new initiative. There are two main reasons why Lord Ganesha is worshipped before starting any ritual. All human thoughts are articulated in Nad Basha, or the language of words, whereas gods, goddesses, and deities who live in the astral world speak Prakash Basha, or the language of light. Ganesha is said to convert human Nad Basha into divine Prakash Basha so that human thoughts might reach the gods. As a result, he is worshipped first. Ganesha rules over the ten directions. Without his permission, no divine power may descend on earth. As a result, Lord Ganesha is invoked to allow astral bodies to descend and bless mankind. We are sure there must be other reasons as well. If you know of any please let us know in the comment box. There are certain time periods when God's positive energies are hyperactive, such periods are known as Maharats or auspicious timings. Hindus always check Maharats while starting a new venture or marriage or any other auspicious occasion. One such noteworthy occasion is Akshaya Tritya. In Sanskrit, the word Akshaya means imperishable or that which never diminishes. This day falls either in April or May when astrologically, the sun and the moon happen to be at the peak of their brightness, which occurs only once in a year. Nature's positive energies are hyperactive on this day. Many important events happened on this day. For example, Sage Vedavyasa and Lord Ganesha began composing the vast epic Mahabharata, on this day. When the Pandavas were in exile, Lord Krishna gave them an Akshaya Patra on this day, a bowl that would never go empty and would create an infinite supply of food on demand. Lord Parsorama is also said to have been born on Akshaya Tritya. Worshipping Lord Vishnu on this day eradicates and removes sins, and makes one free from all sorrows. In Hinduism, number 108 holds lot of significance. Our malas are made of 108 beads so that we chant mantras or God's name 108 times. It is believed that the number 108 binds us to the universe. Here are 10 reasons why the number is significant. According to Ayurveda, our body contains 108 essential points of life energy. There are 108 types of meditation. Average human breathes 10,800 times during daytime and 10,800 times during night. 100 multiplied with 108 equals 10,800. There are also 108 Upanishads in Hinduism. There are 54 letters in the Sanskrit. Each letter has both feminine or Shakti and masculine or Shiva qualities. 54 multiplied by 2 equals 108. The diameter of the sun is 108 times that of the earth. The distance between the sun and earth is 108 times the sun's diameter. The distance between the earth and the moon is 108 times the moon's diameter. There are 12 astrological houses and 9 planets. 12 multiplied by 9 equals 108. It is believed that 1 represents God, 0 represents nothingness, and 8 represents infinity. Hinduism believes that the external universe should mirror our inner spirituality because we are one and the same. It is said that the number 108 units represent the distance between our physical form and the God residing within us.
Why Hindus cremate the body after death? What is the belief behind this practice? The word for death in Sanskrit is dehant meaning death of the body. Deha means body and nth being the end. When a person dies it is end of the body and not the soul. Soul continues its journey of birth, death and rebirth until it finds moksha. After death, the soul is supposed to leave the body, but our soul gets attached to the body and refuses to leave it. Hence, the body is burned so that no body is left and it becomes easy for the soul to detach itself from the body and proceed to its new journey. Burning the body is also an acknowledgement that the physical form is temporary and the soul is eternal. Further, to free the soul from all the ties to the body the ashes are scattered in a river or an ocean. The ritual of liberating the soul of the dead from its attachment serves as a reminder to those who are left behind to let go of their ties to the dead, 